Hey, how are you excited? At the end of summer of Czech last year, I got an internship with Tower Shop. And I love it so much that I work there full time now. When I started actually doing software, when I did my internship and I was doing it as a job, I was like, yes, this is the thing I want to do forever. <laughs> and yeah, I, I really feel like I owe that to Summer of Tech. It helped me get my job at Alfero. Employers want like developers and designers and BAs and all that sort of stuff. Like, it's, it's a growing industry. It's a Summer of Tech actually provides a way for them to like find these people because you know, how, how are they going to know these are like really passionate students and stuff. So Summer Tech actually kind of provides a way for students who are kind of really keen to like put their best foot forward. This is our sixth Summer of Tech and we've had interns every year. Um, last year I think we had seven. It's a fundamental part of our um, company growth strategy so it's, it's not just about internships and it's about you know, growing the people who are going to be the, the future of our business. Having a pipeline of good developers is essential for us, so, you know, Summer of Tech brings us, you know, a good number of developers and interns every year as our developers for the future, really. It's a good opportunity to sort of try before you buy and, you know, but also see how people work together as, as teams. You know, technical skills are relatively easy to measure, but the softer side's not, so, you know, programs like this certainly help understand some of those other aspects. What we look for is the right attitude and interest in the right types of of things and an ability to learn. Um, team fit is really, really important. One of the things that Summer of Tech has been outstanding at is getting talented females to come and apply for roles and, and get the chance to talk to them. And this sounds really dramatic, but this is the start of your career right today. Boot camp's kind of the first step where the students can come in uh, and kind of get to actually meet like people in the industry, which is really important uh, for networking. And then the people who've done really well at the Summer Tech like boot camps have been invited by Summer Tech to come to attend this two-day hackathon. They are building an app of some sort that has to interact with an API. We're dealing with students uh, who want to find deals. Let's say I want to find the cheapest eggs that are for sale at the moment. Um, so you write in eggs, click search and then it will come up with uh, the cheapest price at Countdown, cheapest price at New World, cheapest price at um, Pack and Save, and then you can choose, um, choose the cheapest option and it will find the store near you. We were swimming in Kaitoki, um, and then we heard that we're not actually supposed to swim there because it's very polluted. There's a lot of chemicals and it can give you rashes or bad side effects. And we didn't know that because we, there was no signs. And the whole idea of the app is that the users are more aware of where they can swim. A lot of stress, like, there's obviously quite a tight deadline and you've got to kind of come up with an idea and like, oh, is this idea good? And you've got to try and figure out, oh gosh, how on earth do we build this? You know, like, how do we, how do we, where do we even begin? We're doing a lot of talking and we're doing one minute stand-ups every half an hour or so just to like keep up to date on what everyone's doing. It was really difficult to believe that I could go from having no idea, no concept, no wireframes, no anything to, you know, a fully functioning product that solves someone's problem in just under 48 hours. It's incredible, right? It's, it sounds unbelievable if you've never done it before. At Victoria, it's, the computer science education system is really good, but it doesn't teach us practical stuff like this. With Summer of Tech, we actually create websites, create mobile apps, whereas in Victoria we use, we do software and we do really cool stuff but it's not as like it's not as real life projects as this. Through our compelling, simple and effective user experience, our app is easily navigated by the user. Have they been sensible about the scope because often they'll overreach and they end up being more average than they would have been if they'd actually just focused on two or three key features. Does it work? You know, is always a <laughs> a good one and at the end of the day you're just looking at it going is this something that you kind of go they really feel like they've considered things from you know design down through to, to APIs. The other thing I do really like looking for is whether they've actually thought about what they would have liked to have done if they'd had more time. I remember Sam like looking at me over his shoulder um, when they called out second place and like was giving me like the eyebrows like maybe we got this and so yeah it was awesome. I thought that um you managed to somehow communicate the idea really clearly. It was a nice clean design approach, so um, I looked at it as a really nice way of presenting a proof of concept to a potential client. Um, and so, you know, well done Jen, I think, you know, you, you have a spectacular job on that. Without Summer Tech, I don't think it would be nearly as easy to get a job. Um, like, it's pretty incredible, right? Like, you get access to employers who are actually, like, really excited to be able to, like, meet you and stuff. Summer of Tech became like a goal, like I've got to work hard so I can do Summer of Tech and then like show people like what I can do. 
just even showing up, you don't have to be the best, like I'm definitely not the best like, developer like here, but it's like you show up and you commit and you learn and you show you're willing to learn like, and people will start recognising that. Definitely go for it and do it, it will be the coolest thing ever and you'll meet so many people and you'll learn so much stuff and honestly, even if you don't get an internship at the end, the value in all of these boot camps, the value in things like the Hackfest, the value in meeting people after they've done one of the talks and talking to them about what they do, it just overwhelms 